Hello, uh, Billy Huzzy with Southern Footballer Collector Society. Uh, just want to take a few moments of your time and talk about one of the most recognizable pieces of uh, Southern folk art in clay, the face jug, I guess we'll call it. Uh, the earliest ones we know of production-wise would be from the slaves that were producing them in uh, Edgefield, South Carolina during the mid-19th century. And they were pretty much spawned from uh, religious uh, practices or their religious uh, worship services in uh, Africa. And then you'll find one or two here or there uh, throughout the latter part of the 19th century. And they were made sort of a one of a one of a kind, end of the day type pieces by potters, either commissioned by customers or just something the potters wanted to try. Uh, the early 20th century moved pretty quickly into production for tourist trade for the most part in several states. Uh, Georgia uh, uh, made a lot, North Carolina made a lot, Western North Carolina, and down through some of the other states uh, more sporadically. And at any rate, uh, the Browns uh, are just about celebrating 100 years of continuous face jug production from Georgia in, and Alabama for that matter and into North Carolina. And so what we thought from the Society in 1988 was making a limited edition uh, celebrating the face jug. And we had different makers that made them. And here they are starting from about 1988. Here's a double face jug. West North Carolina with Berlin Craig on his side and his protege, if you will, Charles Lisk on the other side with a swirl. This is mine uh, with a, a lady handle. This is John Brock. Uh, from Virginia that made a little, little different piece, obviously you see, but it's a bank. Here's another collaboration piece from the Metters in Georgia with the father, uh, CJ, or Cleeter Metters, and his son, uh, Cleet Metters, on the other side. Here we got Evan Brown from the infamous devil face jugs that the Browns were uh, famed for. Here, another collaboration piece, this is number six, with Clint Alderman of Georgia Potter, salt glazed, cobalt decorated. And I made the other side of double face monkey jug. And this is the last one we had here where another collabor collaboration piece in the alkaline with mine on this side with cobalt highlights and Charles Lisk again uh, with the other side. And uh, if you have any questions, give us a call 336 581 4246. I thank you for your time. Bye now.